early morning and i'm on mommy duty so <laughs> this is how we gonna have to do this this is gonna be like collages and a story time mixed into one because my contractions were so intense that i could not do it like vlog styled but the video that y'all just saw is a little collage that my mom put together so the lady in the beginning is my mom <laughs> um she is who went through labor and delivery with me and then my dad ended up staying the night with me so those are my support people in the hospital but let's i guess we just get into it then um excuse all baby noises that you hear <laughs> but my appointment was on wednesday october 20th so this was like a week a week and a few days ago because it's saturday yeah so went to my appointment in the morning not thinking nothing because i was very much tired of being pregnant and i felt like i was gonna be pregnant forever so the lady checked my cervix which that's how they tell like <laughs> that's how they tell how much you dilated and if your cervix is softened so they did my service check and then the lady was like do you want a membrane suite she don't want to let me talk she was like do you want to have a mem?" <laughs> she was like <laughs> she don't even be doing all this she was like <laughs> she asked me if i wanted to Okay, she not finna let me talk, so I'm gonna just keep talking. She asked if I wanted to have a membrane sweep, which is basically where they put their finger in there and they like <laughs> do these little motions, <laughs> like circular motions to um, try to trigger contractions, trigger labor pretty much. Um, it separate your uterus from the cervix. It do something now. It do something. I'm gonna Google it and just put it in here. But I had that done. My appointment, y'all, was at like 10 o'clock in the morning. I come home, I cook, I eat, and I'm like, okay, my stomach hurt real bad. So I get on the toilet, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, bro, I'm having contractions, I think. But I would have contractions before, but they wasn't real contractions. And me being a first-time mom, I don't know what the heck real contractions felt like. So I call my best friend because she has a baby. <laughs> so I'm talking to her and I'm explaining like, I dang can't breathe. <laughs> and y'all going to see in the next video, I was so out of breath. But um, I'm sitting on the toilet having contractions and I started timing them. Once I started timing them, that's how I knew like, oh shoot, like wait a minute, this is real. Um, okay, and then after timing them for so long, I had what you call bloody show, which is like a mixture. It looks like mucus. <laughs> Sorry, TMI, but I mean, we all expect the labor and delivery video. Um, it looks kind of like mucus mixed with blood, and that happens when your cervix is like getting all super thin and whatnot, preparing for the baby to come out. So once I had my bloody show, that was confirmation on top of my confirmation when I was timing them. So then I text my mom and I'm like, I think it's time because my mom was in school for her CDLs. So I'm like, mama, uh, you might need to come home because I don't know what's going on <laughs> and I'm in pain. So then she calls me and by the time she FaceTimed me, y'all, I was literally in here in the living room on the floor. Like y'all gonna see throughout this whole video, the most comfortable position for me, cause I did this all naturally, was like on all fours. So I was like bent over. And yeah, so she ended up coming and then I made this video. I have 39 weeks and three days. I had, it was, excuse my shirt, I'm having contractions and it got hot, but I had an appointment today and she did a membrane sweep and I think she did what it was, she did what she was supposed to do because my contractions are literally like one to two minutes apart and it literally takes me down to my knees every time. So I'm trying to hurry up and say this before another one hit me. My mom is on the way to come get me and we are going to the hospital. So, might be meaning this will look better because if I'm going through all this, <sighs> might be meeting this girl so.
Okay, so luckily I only stay like seven minutes from the hospital that I gave birth at and um we finally get there and by the time my contractions had started it was like 12 p.m so my appointment was at 10 a.m came home cooked ate started having contractions at 12 and started timing them um i left the house by 1 p.m so i was laboring at home for like an hour left the house by 1 p.m and finally got to the hospital y'all at my appointment i was only two and a half centimeters dilated you got to get the 10 to get your baby out i was two and a half centimeters dilated at 10 a.m we get to the hospital at one y'all why was i six centimeters dilated six so i went from two and a half to six centimeters by myself here at home just like out of breath how y'all saw in that video like doing too much so um here's a video of when they are not a video but a picture of when they had uh checked me before they had admitted me into the room so when i first got into the room y'all it was pretty hectic i was like dang <laughs> i don't know why she's doing all this but she just don't want me to talk but um i was like dang because it seemed like they was doing a whole lot in a little bit of, of time while i was going through contractions and y'all when you're going through contractions everything gets on your nerves so they were sticking me with stuff like to draw blood hooking up the little belt thing to get my contractions and all this asking me a bajillion questions asking me a bajillion questions and me and my mom looking at each other like god dang can i breathe for a second like what the heck and mind y'all all my contractions were back to back to back to back to back to back like you know they say you can't talk through contractions i literally would be able to get like three sentences out because i only had like one to two minute breaks between each contraction and um then it would just start all over again so i was so like in pain and out of breath and it just was not it. And the lady who put the IV in me stuck me in this arm over here. And that was a bruise on this arm. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I can show y'all. Where is it even is it at? I don't. You can barely see that. But it's a bruise on this arm. Because she stuck me and didn't know what she was doing. She was like wiggling it and doing a bunch of extra stuff. And I'm like, girl. Like, I was, I was really looking at her like I was going to punch her. Like, for real, for real, like you could tell by the look on my face that I was gonna, I was gonna mess her up. <laughs> so then she came over to the other side of her arm, and I'm like, if she don't get it this time, I'm gonna, act, I'm gonna tell her to to get out my face, and I'm gonna have somebody else come do it that know what they're doing. But she got it to stick in on this arm. So that happened. It seemed very chaotic. Um, I kept flipping positions, trying to figure out which was like the most comfortable for me so I was on all fours and at one point they lifted the bed all the way up and I was kind of like sitting there like this with my legs uh up like my knees to my chest and then eventually once I got to like I want to say like seven something centimeters or eight centimeters um they let me labor in the water so laboring in the, i was supposed to have a water birth <laughs> i was supposed to push this girl out in the water but i'll get to what happened in a second but i'm about to add in a clip of where i was in the water and y'all can hear me like moaning and groaning because all i could do was just breathe and like make noises through the contractions because i wanted to do it all natural so i did not have no type of medication no epidural no nothing i was just feeling all of it <laughs> of labor in the water i'm like okay it's starting to feel like i gotta poop and like it feels like that when your baby's head is getting like further and further down to like try to come out you can feel it in your butt 
So I told her that she's like, okay, well, we have to check your cervix again, like to see how far dilated I was before. Cause you gotta be 10 centimeters no, in order to start pushing. So I get out of the water, go to the bed for them to check me. And I'm only like eight and a half centimeters or something like that. It was eight, eight and a half, one of the two. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because they just getting stronger and stronger and happening quicker and quicker. And they was, like I said, I showed up and they was already like two minutes apart. So I'm literally just like able to breathe for a couple seconds, contraction, breathe for a couple seconds, contraction, <laughs> breathe for a couple seconds, contraction. It was, ooh. but honestly, y'all, I'm not going to lie. Doing it all natural was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie and say it don't hurt. It does hurt. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And if I have more kids, I'm probably going to do it all natural again. So, um, they check me and they're like, we got to wait. But by how fast the contractions was coming and stuff. And then like, I don't know, I guess that just motivated something within my body to speed things along because I couldn't even get the chance to get back up to go get back in the tub to finish laboring in the water and then to give birth in the water because I ended up giving birth in the bed. So <laughs> um, it was still all natural. I still got, to, at least got to labor in the water. I really wanted to have a water birth, but homegirl, like I could not get up to walk back to that tub in the bathroom. So um, yeah, I ended up pushing little shorty out <laughs> in the bed. And that was, that was an experience. Like my body your body tells you exactly what is going on my body like threw me like i remember literally i could picture all of this in my head and like see the room and everything my body like threw me into labor i did like that and i was like i have to push and i just started pushing because my body was like making me push because at first they kept trying to tell me like well, you gotta wait you gotta wait you can't start pushing yet when i was like nine centimeters and all that stuff i'm like y'all I'm finna doo doo this baby out like that's what it felt like <laughs> it's like I was gonna poop her out but when my body like threw itself and then I just started pushing I knew like oh she coming now like she coming right now so I pushed her out and uh, my mom and them they had to like keep opening my legs because I was trying to like I don't know what I was doing my body was just doing whatever it wanted to and I was just letting it because I just needed to push and that's all I could focus on was pushing so whatever my body was doing in labor it was just doing that so they had to keep like opening my legs and stuff because I was uh, I was on my side and then they kind of like flipped me over a little bit to my back some but I was still lifted up so I wasn't like laying all the way back and stuff like how you see uh most people but my mom was like move your hand move your hand because apparently I was holding my butt <laughs> with my left hand and she like girl you are going to doo doo on your hand if you do poop because like some people poop during labor um I didn't end up pooping during labor but as soon as she came out she ended up pooping all over the bed but of course they got like a bunch of like sheets and stuff down for if stuff like that happened so it was cleaned up like fast but yeah um so I move my hand and I'm pushing and my mom is just like, Taraja, you can scream. It's okay. Cause she could tell I was just like, like grunting. So once she told me I could scream, I don't know why I feel like I needed my mama permission to scream to give birth. But <laughs> once she told me I could scream, I started screaming y'all. I have never in my life screamed as loud and as hard as I was like, no matter how scared I've ever been in my life on a roller coaster, no, like I have never, I don't know why she be doing all this when she trying to go to sleep, but I have never in my life, like my throat burned from how hard I was screaming. Like, but honestly, y'all, my labor was not that long. Like, and pushing that wasn't long either because, like, I was ready to get her out. Um, once her head popped out, it was like, okay some relief like I was, I was like woo. then they was like okay now we gotta do the shoulders I'm like god <clears throat> okay so <laughs> then we did the shoulders but the head was the worst part getting her head out hurt but um after that and I finally got her shoulders out the rest of her just kind of like flew and slipped out of me and they instantly did skin to skin put her on my chest and I'm just looking at her like like y'all I didn't cry I thought I was going to cry because 
while I was pregnant and I would watch other people labor and delivery videos, I would cry when they baby came out as if I know these people. <laughs> um, no, I did not cry at all. I was just looking at her like, what the, it's a, a human just came out of me. Like, you was really just inside of me. And it's like, I knew she was in there because she would be kicking and stuff. But seeing your baby for the first time is like a feeling that I really cannot explain. So I'm just like in awe and shock like oh my god I really just had a whole baby like what in the world is going on um so yeah we did skin to skin I breastfed so yes I do breastfeed my baby um only time she gets a bottle is if my mom want to take her and uh y'all she's sleep right now believe it or not she's sleeping but anyways, um, yeah, we did skin to skin for like, I thought it was kind of, it was kind of a, a while, like probably like 45 minutes or something where they left us alone and then they, uh, took her and weighed her. So she was six pounds and two ounces at birth. Um, and she was 20 inches long. I had her October 20th at 4 46 PM. So. Oh, and that's funny because when she first popped out, the first thing I asked was, what time is it? <laughs> and my mom looked at me like, what? <laughs> but yeah, that's when I had my baby. So it was a little over a week ago. Um, So here's a video, or that's, you saw the video already, but here's a little clip without the music and stuff. Little girl. <laughs> 